Okay, so hi guys and welcome back. What we have here on the bench today is a tiny frame. It's the Airblade Assault 130mm uh, carbon fiber frame and it's provided by Airblade UAV. I will of course link everything in the description as usual. Let's take a look at the components first, which we got here. So for one we have here this carbon fiber bottom plate. As you can see it is really nicely designed. Feels very massive. So that should work very well. And as I said, it's a motor to motor distance of 130 millimeters. So it's a very, very small frame. We will do some comparison uh, later. Then we have here this top plate, again carbon fiber of course. This is a bit thinner, it's about one millimeter. We will check this in a second. Additionally, we got all the small parts of course, which are needed to assemble this frame. And what is really nice, we also got a shield. So this is a 3D printed, as you can see, that goes in between the bottom plate and the top plate and helps protecting the frame and also gives it a very nice look. Uh, these shields are available in many, many colors from their website. So this is, this is really nice. So what we will start with is to measure the uh, thickness of these plates to give you an idea. So let's put that on the focus here and see what we have here. So for the bottom plate, this comes at 2.5 millimeters, so that's pretty strong. The top plate, so as assumed, this comes in at 1 millimeter. And then we have here this plastic shielding, it's, it's made uh, of ABS, so it's very robust, so it gives in a little, but as soon as it's in between the uh, bot uh, top and bottom plate, it will really protect this frame nicely. That's about 2.4 millimeters in strength. As you can see, the strength also varies here a bit on the front here. It's more like 1.6 millimeters. So now that we have seen what the uh, thickness of this plate is, we will take a look at the weight next. So let's put our scales here and see what the weight of this 130 frame is. So first the bottom plate. The bottom plate comes in at 23 grams. Then the top plate. Together with the top plate we arrive at 25 grams, that means the top plate is about 2 grams. Then let's take a look at this uh, shielding here. This adds another 10 grams, so the shielding is another 10 grams and we are now at 35 grams. Just to note, you don't have to use the shielding, that's an optional part. So if you want to keep it very light, you don't use the shielding. Uh, if you have strong motors on it and plan to give this frame a bit of abuse, you can attach the shielding. That's another 10 grams, as you just see, but provides some good protection. And then we have all the small parts here, which uh, at another 10 grams, 11 grams, but of course you will probably not use all of these small parts. And there's also this plastic bag, uh, which will of course not be part of the final frame. We will do an assembly in a second, and then we will see what the true uh, uh, weight of the bare frame is. So now that we know the weight of it, we will take just a quick check, so I have no worries about that, but you know me, if this is true carbon fiber. So let's see if that is conductive. You all know carbon fiber is conductive. So if you see here that 
this value goes to below one, that means that it's conductive and that means it's probably carbon fiber. And as we can see here, yeah, it goes down. So it is conductive. Let's take another look here. So that means, yes, this is carbon fiber. Well, at least it means it is conductive and that usually means it is carbon fiber. Let's check the top plate as well. And again, you can see, yes, that is conductive. So now we have that out of the equation. So what we will do next is build this frame up. I will do a short time-lapse video. Hope you enjoy it. And once it is built up, I will suggest some components, which I already have here, and compare it to two other small frames. Okay, so as you can see, this uh, really went together nice and quick. So as uh, assumed, there's a lot of material here, which you don't actually use to assemble a bare frame. So all this material is of course used uh, for, for mounting your flight controller and so on. So this is really nice that they thought of that and also provided this material. We will only measure the bare frame for now without these to see what is the true weight of that. So we will do that now. And as you can see, the bare frame assembled comes in at about 30 grams. You see that I have left out this shielding because I actually don't plan to use it. I want to build this as uh, small and as lightweight as possible. The shielding, as we saw before, would add another 10 grams if it is included, about 10 grams, you can see it here. So you can use this, of course, makes it look really nicely, but you don't have to. As you can see, if you use the shielding, you will also have uh, a bit more space to mount the uh, PDP flight controller and so on. So that might be an advantage as well. So now we will uh, compare this first to some other frames which I have already built up, just get that out of the way for now, to just give you an impression about what the size of this frame is. So we have here, as I thought, the Airblade Assault 130 frame and just for comparison, this is actually the front, so just for comparison we have here for example the Diadone Spatula 150 frame. So as you can see, this is about 20 millimeters less in motor to motor distance. You can put it also on top of it. So it's still a bit smaller than this Spatula frame, this Spatula 150 frame by Diadone, which we have reviewed earlier. And to give you another comparison, this is my fully built up ZMR 180 frame sitting here beside <laughs> this little air plate assault. And as you can see, yeah, there is quite some size difference here. So this is a really cute, nice frame. As for suggested components, I have a few of them here already, which I will use to build this up. So I will, of course, build this up in a future video. And I have a few components here already. So let me just see where they are. Yeah. So this frame is, of course, very nice for these 1104 motors. In this case, I have the 1104 motors with 4000 kV, which are available on Banggood. Uh, 
from EA Shine and from this. So as far as I know, uh, these are the same. You can use them. They are a really good fit for this frame. I have did I did some thrust measurements of these motors together with the small props. Let me just find them really quickly. I did some thrust measurements of these motors together with this small uh, 30 20 3020 uh, props earlier and I found out with uh, three cells I get more than 90 grams of thrust out of these motors so that means four of them will give this little fellow almost 400 grams of thrust which on 3S, which should make it a very, very nice flyer. Of course, you can always go beast mode with that and use one of these uh, 1306 motors, which I have used here uh, on my Setem R180 build. These are the 1306 motors with 3100 kV. Then you probably would try to get to four cells because they are only uh, 3100 kV, but that should give it really beast mode, you know. <laughs> I will build it up with the 1104 motors, which I just uh, showed to you. So this should make this a really nice flyer. And additionally, I will use one of these really tiny cameras. So I will link them in the description. These uh, are tiny uh, CMOS cameras which are available really cheaply from Banggood and these should be a nice fit here. I have not tried that yet, but yeah, that looks nice. So as you can see, I can mount them there uh, and this should work very well. I will probably just glue them in. This should be sufficient to somewhat protected also by this standoffs. So that should be very nice. Okay, so yes, now this concludes this short unboxing review of this really tiny frame. So I'm really looking forward to build this. I will uh, build this with FTPV, of course, for cruising around in the house or indoor, but also outdoor, of course. This should be a very interesting build. So if you like this uh, unboxing review, please leave a thumbs up, please subscribe. And soon you will of course see the build review uh, of this little fellow and hopefully also the maiden flight. So thank you very much and see you next time.